Adele has stunned in a glittering, off-the-shoulder dress after her long-awaited return to the stage. She was joined by her new BF Rich Paul. Adele, 33, has returned to the stage, performing at the London Palladium on November 6 as part of an ITV special, titled An Audience with Adele. The taping marked her first major performance in four years, and her new beau Rich Paul watched in the star-studded audience. The Skyfall singer stunned in a black off-the-shoulder gown, which featured puffy sleeves and a glittering bodice. When she was seen getting into a car alongside Rich after the show, her glamorous curls were on display, along with her impeccable makeup look, featuring dark eyeshadow and long lashes. Her sports agent BF, 39, cut an equally chic figure in a light grey velvet suit, as he helped her into the vehicle. Adele first opened up about her romance with a sports industry heavy hitter in an interview with Vogue for the November 2021 issue. She got candid about the new relationship, revealing that she didn't mean to go public with it, she said she just loves being around the sports agent. Related Gallery Adele then and now, see photos of the singer's transformation. While Rich and a slew of other big names heard Adele perform hits from her new album at the taping, it was not the first time a fellow A-lister had heard the upcoming project. The singer previously revealed she shared the work with Drake last year. I played it to Drake last year when he was in town, she said on Saturday October 16 during an appearance on radio show Capital Breakfast. And I was like is this what people want, or not want? And he said absolutely but that's it really. She continued, Drake's obviously incredible and amazing as well as being my mate, but I don't send it around to various people being like can I get your thoughts on this? Adele added. It's always about how it makes me feel, quality control is my forte, and I can write a song about my own experiences and my own life, people certainly aren't waiting for a club banger from me.